Teach us, Lord, today in the power of your Holy Spirit. Teach us the truth. We know that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So feed us on your word today, we ask. May the spirit of all truth open our minds. May we be willing to share with others the truth you would teach us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will continue from verse 27 to 36. Let us hear God's words. Now my soul is deeply troubled. Shall I pray, Father, save me from what lies ahead? But that is the very reason why I came. Father, bring glory and honor to your name. Then a voice spoke from heaven saying, I have already done this and I will do it again. When the crowd heard the voice, some of them thought it was thunder, while others declared an angel had spoken to him. Then Jesus told them, The voice was for your benefit, not mine. The time of judgment for the world has come, and the time when Satan, the prince of this world, shall be cast out. And when I am lifted up on the cross, I will draw everyone to me. He said this to indicate how he was going to die. Die? asked the crowd. We understood that the Messiah would live forever and never die. Why are you saying he will die? What Messiah are you talking about? Then Jesus replied, my light will shine out for you just a little while longer. Walk in it while you can, and go where you want to go before the darkness falls, for then it will be too late for you to find your way. Make use of the light while there is still time, then you will become light bearers. After saying these things, Jesus went away and was hidden from them. Well, so many great verses in today's passage. Jesus talks here also about Satan and we have this, well, tendency uh, of not liking to talk about Satan. There's also this, this, um, this trend which says that Satan is, is not real, only symbolic in the Bible. So I'm telling you this. Satan was pretty real for Jesus. So he is real for me too. You know that Satan originally was an angel who rebelled against God. And uh, therefore, and I think it's really interesting, therefore he hates anyone who obeys to God. So be aware that there is a, a spiritual battle for you. Like the more obedient and faithful you become to God, the more interest Satan has in you. Uh, well, it sounds like a bad news, I know. It even sounds very scary. So when life seems very scary, or knowing the fact um, that there is a battle for you in the invisible realm, then remember who Jesus is, remember his victory over death and on the cross, and remember what he said, walk in the light. So the darkness will not overtake you. Walk in the light today, my dear friends. Have a wonderful day.